Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonorai from Glad Studio and in this studio video tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can draw irregular shapes of wall and glass in Revit. So for this, I am going to take wall here and I will select wall architectural and I am going to select uh, generic 8 inches and I will give unconnected height as 20 feet. And I will go to my edit type here and I will duplicate this and first I am going to create a wall material here and I will go to edit here and I am going to select thickness as 9 inches and I will change the wall material here and I am going to create a new material and we will apply wall paint. I'm going to apply ivory flat here and I'm going to apply OK, OK, apply OK and now I'm going to draw a rectangular shape here of wall so you can take any size so I'm going to take this as 30 feet by 30 feet by 60 feet you can change the dimension so I'm going to make this as 30 feet and this one as 60 feet so these are temporary dimensions so now I'm going to delete this so again if I'm going to my wall here and I will go to wall architectural and then I will select Curtain wall from this, and we'll go to edit type, and you should make sure that automatically embed is checked here. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to give curtain wall height as 18 feet and offset as 1 feet. So I'm going to draw a curtain wall. So I'm going to pick center line of this wall, or you can select this line, and you can draw a curtain wall here. Then again, you can draw a curtain wall from this end. And if you go to your 3D view, you can see this is the wall which we have drawn here. So now to draw interesting shapes, I'm going to this side and I will go and select this curtain wall and then we'll go to edit profile. And I'm going to draw some shapes, so I will use uh, arc here, and I'm going to draw from this end, and I will make any interesting shapes here. So now this is the shapes, and I'm going to draw another shape here. So I am going to take from bottom here So now this is the one shape and this is the next shape and I'm going to draw another shape here. You can take SP line also if you want. And you should make sure that the line should intersect the outer line here of cotton wall to get the desired shape. and I'll take another shape here and then I'm going to take next shape is like this one and I'll make another shape here and skip this take the arc and you can make any designs like this 
and I'm going to take another mark here. one and now I am going to draw the offset here. So this is the shapes which we have drawn here and we can extend this till here. So now I am going to So we'll start from this end. So we are required to split these shapes. So for this, you can use split element here, SL software key, and you can trim this or you can drag this line here. And now I'm going to delete this line. Extend this, and now I'm going to Join this element. And we'll split this. Split this also. Then the next So now we are almost done here and ends must be enclosed to highlighted lines are open at one end so we are required to close this so I'm going to close this line one and this line with the next one where it will currently intersect so I'm going to remove this so we have to so we are required to close this also. So now it is almost done. I think you should make sure that these all shapes are closed and these all other shapes should be open. So, and it should intersect. So, all the lines are closed in and these lines are open. So, now I am going to finish this. And now, this is the our shape here. You can see like this, we can draw this kind of interesting shapes. And you can create any uh, interesting shapes in floors also. So I am going to create a floor here. And now I am going to draw a floor here. And you can 
create any uh, shapes here, interesting shapes or floor also to give this as a design look and you can draw, draw some irregular shapes here also. And if you go to your 3D view, you can see like this, you can fill with any water or you can create a landscape here. So, or you can fill with grass. So I'm going to my level one and I will go here and I will go to my floor here, floor architectural and I will go and edit this floor and I will duplicate this and I am going to rename this as a grass here can create some landscape and I am going to reduce the thickness and I am going to make it 6 inches and I am going to change the material I will go to create a new material and I am going to my edit type and now I am going to select grass and select glass top right here I will apply OK, OK, apply OK. And now I am going to select this floor here, the pick line. And you can give a height offset from level 1. So I am going to give 6 inches. Now I am going to apply and check in your. So likewise, you can create landscape here and this kind of interesting shapes and you can give a, a roof also here if you want so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in the video so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye